So I had a great question about limiting the number of spawns for my zombies on one of my zombie spawners. And um, their, their world was getting a little bit clogged and things were slowing down. But this is also going to be good if you want to um, spawn another wave when like all the zombies are dead. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead. Oh, look at that. I need a hyper laser because I need to kill zombies. So I am going to add that to my starter pack. And then I'll get my zombie here. Oh, I don't need to do that. I can just grab this. Get a drooling zombie. Doesn't have to be a zombie. It could be any monster. And we'll do zombie down to server storage. There we go. Go to server script service. And let's add a script. I'll call this Z spawner. Z spawner. And it's a regular script. It's not a module script. So let's get a template zombie from our server storage, that one that we dragged down. So game, get service, server storage. And I'll use the bracket notation because drooling zombie has a space in the name. There we go. And I also want to have a variable called Z count for the number of zombies in the world. I'll initialize it to zero. And I'm also going to do a debris service just to make sure that if something's hanging around too long, we clean it up. So that is debris. Okay, now let's make a simple spawner. So local function spawn zombies. I'll say four i equals one to 10 and steps of one do local zombie T zombie clone. All right, now here is the tricky part. So we were just making the parent the workspace, but then it's hard to keep track how many zombies we have. If we go to the workspace, add a folder, call this zombies. And then when we say workspace zombies, and the parent is assigned to that value, the zombies are gonna go into this folder and that's gonna make things a lot easier for counting. All right, so let's randomize our zombie location. And you know what, I'm not gonna use that math random anymore. It doesn't work really well. So I'm gonna make another variable called RND. That's gonna be random new. And then I'll do random next integer negative 250 to 250. So we'll spawn them all over the all over the terrain. So the Z location also. Next integer, negative 50 and negative 50. And let's go ahead and make a position out of those random numbers. So vector three, new, X loc. Uh, we'll drop them at Y equals three studs and then Z loc, there we go. And since the zombie has moved to capability, move to any non-playing character that, that can move that has animations will, will be, you'll be able to use this move to. All right, ooh, and we have our debris service. So what I'm gonna do, just as a precaution, if something is hanging out too long, like this zombie, I'm gonna give it a time to live of five minutes. And you'll notice zombies, sometimes they don't clear the world properly. So that'll be good to have something like that. All right, now let's count how many zombies we have at any given time. So we'll say get Z count, and it's gonna be a number. And I'm gonna say, this, is, this little pound sign gives you the number of elements in a table. So we'll say workspace, and then I'm gonna get this folder right here, and I'll do a colon, get children. That's gonna give me a table of everything that's in this folder, the zombies folder, and then we're gonna get the number of that table, the number of elements in that table. We're gonna assign it to number, and then we'll return number. Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and do our little loop, a little game loop. So while true do, if Z count is less than, and we'll say, let's say 20, then spawn zombies. Now, let's check our Z count. 
Uh, let's see, what do I get? Z count. Yeah, there we go. Get Z count. And we'll wait five seconds in between each loop. So we could have up to 29 zombies because we're going to spawn 10. And then we're going to do another loop. And it's going to be, oh, it's at 10. It's less than 20. So we'll do another spawn, which gives us 20 zombies. Then it'll no longer spawn. But if we kill one zombie, it'll be down to 19. We'll be able to spawn. So that's how you can limit your spawns. And you can say, if Z count equals zero, spawn zombies. Like if you want to clear all the zombies. Let's do a printout. And I'm going to say, oh, let's not do it here. Well, I'll, let me type it out. Spawning. Let me just go ahead and put that in my if statement right there oh that worked out terribly there we go so now we can see when we're spawning and then let's do a printout for our number of zombies so i'll say z count equals um z count that should do it this is bulletproof let's see what we got so we can see we're spawning right away and my hyper laser and ooh, we got another one 20 another so we won't get any more spawns so you can see how that's times two for the 20 because we have to kill at least one zombie to get it down to 19 and then we'll go up to see there's a 19 and then we'll spawn to 29 there it is the count is 29 so that's working pretty good so now you can kill zombies you can limit the number of zombies in your world Ah, almost died. And uh, I hope that was helpful. Wow, I got a whole bunch on that one.